Hello kitties, welcome to the Paul Pate Podcast. Today's show is brought to you by Michigan Comics Collective. Dun, uh, dun, dun. <laughs> they are a group of comics enthusiasts, writers, artists, uh, inkers, pencilers, letterers, colorists, uh, even biz- the business behind um, comics. It's a group of people like that that get together and their goal is to uh, put out high level, good quality, professional level comics made in Michigan. And you can find them at michigancomicscollective.org. Um, check them out if you want to get involved and you're in Michigan or if you just want to see some good quality comics, uh, check them out. Today's show is also brought to you by Paul Pate Animation. It's my YouTube channel. Uh, check it out. Go to YouTube, search Paul Pate Animation. There you can find my animation. I've got two um, short films and some animation studies, and I've got two commercials out there. And it's my animation efforts and my how I learn and study animation. So, without further ado, let's get to our guest, Greg Wright. <laughs> Greg Wright. Uh, Greg, talk about yourself. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> right. Yeah. Welcome well, to the podcast, you know. by the way. Greg. What's, so, what's that? Welcome to the podcast. Oh, thank you very much. And thank you very much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. And um, yeah, so I, uh, I'm an assistant professor by day at Davenport University. I teach English and communications. And I also, you know, by night, which actually is probably during the day as well, but, um, <laughs> you know, just to, to make it sound romantic, by, by night I, I write comics, including the recently released Wild Bullets from the Michigan Comics Collective. And uh, I'm really, really excited about how this turned out. It's just a, it's a gorgeous book, and um, I'm really happy to be working with such wonderful, high-quality, high-caliber, professional, talented people. Wild Bullets. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Go for it. Uh, because I want to show everybody Wild Bullets. Just a uh, quick, you know, uh, a teaser, I guess, of it. Share your share a window, my preview. Window. Oh, actually, so I'm going to share this window on this guy. Start. Are you able to see it? Uh, oh, I see it's I see it loading. Boom! Yes, I I recognize that page even. I yeah. know what you. <laughs> yeah, man, this is just an awesome book. Okay, so I want to. Uh, the artwork is incredible. I like the lettering. I was like when I first started off, I was like this font is like noir kind of. Yeah. You know the, the beginning one. I'm like oh man, and the color is you know perfect uh, so I want to I want you to talk about this but first I want to ask you a couple questions so sure. yeah um, Michigan Comics Collective so mm-hmm. what in case anybody's wondering mm-hmm. stop. I I have Michigan Comics Collective as the sponsor of my show so far yeah and mm-hmm. I did that so that I could have all you guys come on the podcast <laughs> it gives me a bunch of guests but that's a fair deal what do you think Oh, I, that, that is more than fair. There's no conflict of interest there. Yeah. I think everybody is down with that. That's right. great. Cool. So, and, uh, yeah, I know that uh, Steve uh, Scharr and um, Sean Seal and all those guys have been busy lately, so they've, we've had a hard time scheduling it, but I'm gonna have, I want to have those guys on. Second thing I want to cover with you before we get to Wild Bullets, yeah, you're sure. coming to grasp. I am not coming you're to not. grasp. Okay. I am not coming to grasp. Okay. So, um, but I've got I've got some other really great stuff planned in the future. Uh, I'm going to be going to a Comic Con in August, uh, in Taylor, the Taylor Town uh, Con, and uh, I'm also going to be going to we we just had a Michigan Comics Collective event today to kick off the summer reading program at the uh, Dow Memorial Library in Midland, Michigan. Then next month we've got a We've got an event with uh, the Great Lakes Loons, 
We're going to be oh. doing a sketch table at their Star Wars night, so that should be a lot of fun, and Dude. I'll get the word out about Mission <laughs> Comics Collective and everything, and offering free sketches for family members and stuff. So that's Saturday, uh, July 18th. Yeah. Uh, so if anybody is in the Midland area, come on down to the game, and it should be a great time. Their Star Wars night is always a lot of fun, but it's got the added bonus of people can come in and get free sketches for their families, for their kids, for themselves, whatever. And uh, hopefully it'll be a good way for us to go out and get to meet a lot of people and get the word out about the great stuff we're doing. Okay. Um, is anybody, but there are some guys from Michigan Comics Collective coming to Grand Rapids area. Right? I know for sure that, that Travis McIntyre is coming to Grass. Okay. Uh, and I think some other folks are as well. I'm not sure which ones, so I don't want to speak out of turn. <laughs> okay. I had Travis on the podcast, I should say. And oh, yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. Wow, man. That guy's speaking of, like, the business of comics, that guy's knowledgeable. You know, I, I had fun listening. Definitely. Listening to him, you know, talk about, I mean, he knows, you know, he, he's a writer as well. But, yeah. um, okay, so here, last thing, and this is, for Wild Bullets. I went to uh, um, drive through Comics. I bought Wild Bullet. You were like, you offered me a, a review copy, and I'm like, well, I don't feel like waiting for the email. So I can pay a buck ninety nine, okay, and uh, get it from drive through Comics. You look it up, Wild Bullets, right? I, and that's a great deal to me. Oh, it, it, is, it is a good deal. It is a good deal because a, a lot of comics, uh, they're charging more and you get fewer pages. This is a solid 35 pages plus the cover and additional materials. And you get it in print, that's 5 bucks, which is, again, the price that you pay for about a 20-page comic. 5 bucks. And, uh, you know, $1.99 to get it digitally. And we've actually got a new deal right now that I can give you the link for, Paul. Okay. Uh, where if you buy Wild Bullets for $1.99, you can get the Michigan Comics Collective's Volume 1, their first anthology, which we put out last fall. So okay. that's like, for the price of just $1.99, people can get over 200 pages of comics altogether. Uh, oh, crap, I've already bought it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, man. And I didn't show you my other screen, but I've had... And so it's 39 pages. I haven't re had a chance to read it all because I just bought it you know, the other day. And then, but what you didn't see was behind that window is um, up the river. I've had that oh, on yeah. my, I've had that on, and I, that's awesome too. That's a Michigan Comics Collective comic. You guys are, you guys are rocking. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good that we're getting stuff done. Now, now, up the river is through SourcePoint Press. Okay, okay, but, all right. I'm sorry. Um, no, that's okay. But it's, it's some Michigan Comics Collective people. That, that's okay. That's not a conflict, is it? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, okay. no. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, Travis McIntyre wrote that, and he's one of the founding members of the Michigan Comics Collective. Oh, but he got a different... I got And you. Steve Scharr does the pencils and inks on that, and Sean Seal does the colors. So right. they're all Michigan Comics Collective guys. They're just publishing it through Source Point Press. Right. Awesome. Okay, anyway, I'm reading that one as well. It's very... Professional. Yeah, it's a, it's a really dark horror uh, comic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is fun. The thing is, is I bought uh, Buck Ninety Nine Drive Through Comics. I buy the buy your a digital thing. I'm reading it on my computer. I got a big screen here. It's pretty nice, you know. But mm -hmm. I uh, I want to I want to have the book. I love the paper. Right. Yeah. I meant to bring down here. Uh, Ken Lemoog's book, uh, T Tales of Tabak Toluca. Yeah, yeah. Because that's actually how we met. Even though we're both from Michigan, we met. Right. We were introduced by Ken Lemoog, who lives in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And that's my daughter's favorite book, Tales from Tabak Toluca. Oh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. It's Gor so much. Yeah. Do you, ha ha do you have the book? Do I have which book? Tales of Tabak Yes, yes, I do. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah, the artwork is incredible. So, same thing with Wild Bullets. I think the artwork is beautiful, and I want to have the book. So, when does the book come out? Well, the, the book is out, and okay. uh, people who are in mid, the mid-Michigan area, it's in a number of comic book shops. Uh, Wild Bullets is available at 
Collector's Corner in Midland, Cashman's Comics in Bay City, and Koi's Comics in Saginaw. Steve Shar, one of the artists, actually owns Koi's Comics right. in Saginaw. Um, if folks are not in the mid-Michigan uh, area, they can buy copies through the Michigan Comics Collective's PayPal. Uh, they just need to send an email to michigancomicscollective.org. Uh, okay. they, and then there's a little bit of additional cost uh, due to the shipping as well as the PayPal fees. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we're not, we're not making any cash on that. But, so it's just that additional, those additional fees right. added to the $5 price point. It just costs five bucks to get a, a paper copy of, of Wild Bullets. Okay. And it really is a, a gorgeous, gorgeous book. I'm yeah. really excited. See, about I, it. my plan is to get one at the Grand Re Grass. Yes, they will, you can I'm going to the at, and I want to. Uh, we got stuff going on that weekend, but I'm taking my daughter, and we're going to go <laughs> crash it. So nice, um, nice. Yeah, I, I, I look forward to that. Um, so tell us about Wild Bullets. All um, right, we'll we'll do. <laughs> let's dig in. Yeah. So uh, I'm so excited about this. Uh, what Wild Bullets is, it's, it's a one-shot comic, and it's 35 pages. It tells the story of the Bullet family, and they're all really severely dysfunctional. The Bullet siblings all grew up to become pulp adventurers, and so one became a detective, one became a mad scientist, one's an archaeologist, and one's a monster hunter. Okay, so I, I think yeah. just based on like what my podcast is about, uh, mostly people that watch or listen is are going to be into comics. I'm telling you, this this book is awesome. You gotta anybody listening, you gotta check it out because <laughs> I mean, the artwork is is solid and the writing is solid and it's just like you when you just described it, it's it's like that. It's just fun, you know. Every page is like bah, wild, you know. Yeah, there's something crazy going on, and uh, I think the proudest thing is just, it's a gorgeous book, uh, right. but, you know, sometimes when you read an indie book, it's kind of like, oh, I gotta overlook this, or I gotta forgive that. This, the art, there's there's no need for excuses, there's no need for apologies. Like you're saying, every single page, it looks gorgeous, it tells the story well, and you feel like you know who these characters are, their personalities all pop, and there's there's action going on throughout, so there's, there's something for everybody, really. Whatever your interests are, there's some way, there's something in this book for you. You know, it, it'll really, it can hook you no matter what uh, you bring to the yeah. table in terms of what and you for like. For buck ninety nine, take a chance. Take a chance, right? That's I less couldn't even wait. Buy a burrito, and it doesn't give you gas or anything like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've been reading it. <laughs> it, it may, it might, it, okay. You know, it. That, anyway, that, moving it, on, Greg. Edition. By the way, I don't know if I said this. Uh, um, before we were on the air, the bookshelf looks really great, and I like <laughs> I like your T-shirt. That's pretty freaking cool. Oh yeah, my Superman T-shirt. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I I had to see why I'm, why I talked to my wife about why I don't have one of those yet. You're on a deserted island, and the first thing one you get one is a dessert. So what is it going to be? I'm going to say baked Alaska. Because I bet on the deserted island it's going to be hot, so I like the coolness of the ice cream. Plus, I can use the fire that started on the top of the Bake Alaska to maybe start a signal fire for myself. Hey, man, that's like multitasking. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, wow. It's got layers to it, really. Right. <laughs> Spoken like a true writer. You know? yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, one book. One book. That's a tougher one. Um, I'm going to say Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace, uh, just because if I'm on the deserted island, I figure I'm going to be there for a long time, and that book has got a lot of reread value to it. It's a huge, thick book. I don't know. It's on my shelf somewhere. It's going but, to the shelf, folks. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to grab it just because um, I don't know where it is, but uh, it's, it's, it's a fun book. It's a goofy book. Uh, and it has so many footnotes at the end that you need to use two bookmarks to read this book, uh, so you can flip back to where is the it, footnotes is are. It, it's fiction. It's fiction, but he writes in this very um, abstracted academic style, where sometimes you'll go back for a footnote, and the footnote will literally be tiny type for like 
10, 15 pages before you can get back to where you first left off. So you, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, and there's important information. You can't skip that. There's, there's another book like that called, um, it's Mark uh, Danielewski, and he wrote House of Leaves. It's also got these footnotes, and, you know, you have to read some passages in a mirror and turn it upside down, and uh, that one's like a sort of a comic horror novel, and I like both of them a lot because I'm, I'm that kind of a nerd. So. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Yeah, kaboom. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, if you're a nerd, then you're gonna get to, you get to take one website on your deserted island. What's it going to be? Oh, I'm gonna, I am going to nerd out on this one. I'm going to go to the website that I check most often, and this is, that sounds like a dirty buildup, and I swear it's not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the the avclub.com. I go. It is. It's an offshoot. It used to be part of the Onion, um, but I think people got confused as to whether or not to take them seriously. They've been doing this for I don't know, close to 20 years. Uh, they just they review books, movies, TV the shows, AV club. TV games. the AV club. Yep, for like the old audio visual club guys yeah. in high school, the super yeah. nerds. Yeah. And, uh, they've got really high quality coverage of comics as well as, like I said, TV, movies, everything. They update every single day. So every weekday, if I'm starting around at work, which I may or may not do on a lot of weekdays, uh, <laughs> then, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'll neither confirm nor deny that that happens, but I, I check out the AV Club as, as often as I can because they've often got really great stuff, and I would love to have the AV Club um, review Wild Bullets. I'm, that's, that's my secret plan, is I want to try to spread yeah. karma about them so that I can have them review Wild Bullets. See, because, yeah, um, you've always got like the ulterior mo motive going. Right, right, yeah. Uh, like I'm gonna, I, don't, I don't even know if I like Baked Alaska, but I figure I need that fun. <laughs> All right, so you were, you were alluding to, you know, the, the website that you would check most. So that's our next item. You get to take, to this deserted island, you get to take one actress. What, one actress? One actress. Who's it going to be? Uh, Careful now. Yeah, I'm going to get myself into trouble with this one. I've made <laughs> jokes about this before. I'm going to take Scarlett Johansson. I'll, I'll take Scarlett Johansson with me. Uh, because she's so kick-ass as Black Widow, I figure she can probably rescue me better than anybody else. But right. Also, yeah. I made this. Uh, I made this slightly inappropriate tweet, and uh, it's out <laughs> there now. And uh, it's it's sort of like uh, I wonder if Scarlett Johansson ever fantasizes about fat comic book nerds, or is that just a one-way street? So. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the first person on the podcast. To pick Scarlett Johansson. Oh, man. I'm unoriginal. What can I say? No, no, no. I mean, I think that says a lot about Scarlett. Yeah, it might say more about her. Yeah. <laughs> or the fact that she played Black Widow. But anyway, last and, and one. Lucy. I mean, I figure if she has the skills that she's got in Lucy, we're probably not going to be on that deserted island for long. Yeah. I don't know if that's what you want. <laughs> uh, that's true. That's true. I'm, oh man, <laughs> I'm myself a shallow, deserted, sandy grave. <laughs> okay, last item is one tool from your garage or basement or tool shed. Uh, one tool. I'm gonna go with just a plain old basic claw hammer. Uh, if you've seen the movie Old Boy, you know you can do a lot of damage with a hammer. <laughs> so. Anyway, we could ramble on it all night long. Thanks for coming on, Greg. Uh, you can come back anytime. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, Paul. Let's talk again soon. <laughs>